Firefighters and utility companies are getting ready for a period of gusty winds and low humidity in the Sacramento Valley. The National Weather Service issuing a fire weather watch for today and tomorrow. PG&E also preparing for the possibility of public safety power shutoffs. The utility says power might be cut Wednesday to reduce fire danger in many different counties. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 4. I'm Riley Carroll. We are going to get right to weather this afternoon as we are under a red flag warning. We're going to check in with our chief meteorologist Adam Epstein. Adam, we haven't seen this all year, but a, a pretty significant event. Right, and this is remarkable because it's the latest first red flag warning we've had since 2011. Wow. So that means in years past, you get into summer, we talk about June, July, and you tend to get red flag warnings. But this year, we've evaded those conditions. The snowpack helped for the start of the summer as it slowly melted. And now we have these north winds that are building. The red flag warning doesn't officially begin until 11 p.m. tonight, and it lasts until Wednesday evening with north winds, the strongest winds going to be in the north side of the west, uh, to the west side of the north Sacramento Valley. So think Lake, Napa, Calusa County area, and farther up to the north. The reason for the change in the wind direction from our normal west wind is this area of low pressure that's getting closer to us, and you can already see those winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere having that more of a northerly influence. And Remember, winds are named for the direction from which they come from, not from which they're going. So that north wind comes out of the north. That's a dry, warm land breeze. Right now we're seeing wind speeds 5 to 15 miles per hour in the valley. That's not terrible, but the gusts are starting to pick up in Backville, 16 miles per hour. And Modesto has 24 mile per hour gusts. But some of that wind in the San Joaquin Valley is still coming from the west, so it's packing a little bit of moisture. And that's why you're not included in the red flag warning. Here we are overnight. We have the winds getting faster in Calusa, Yolo County, and up to our north. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, it looks like the winds will actually get weaker. So the strongest breeze will be early in the morning. We keep going into the evening, 7 p.m. The north winds vanish, the west winds come back. It's a fairly short-lived event. Right now we're at 91, and then we're going to see temperatures drop into the 80s by 8 o'clock. And coming up in the full forecast, we're going to break down how we could be seeing some smoke, the return of that west wind, and how temperatures will tumble after this event. Riley, back to you.